Men, are you tired of looking like crap, feeling like crap? Sex drive isn't there anymore. I know what you're talking about. I went through the same thing. And then I called Royal Medical Center at 800-625-3837, and they took care of everything for me. They tested my blood. They got me on the correct dose of TRT. They sent everything to me by UPS on a monthly basis. Showed me how to do the injections. I mean, they did everything for me. In six weeks, I felt amazing. Everything changed. I changed my diet. I lost 50 pounds in a matter of four months and kept it off. That was two years ago. So if you want to make that change, you want to feel better, you want to look better, you want to be stronger in the gym, you want to have a sex drive that your wife will love you for, your girlfriend will love you for, call Royal Medical Center at 800-625-3837 or go to www.royalmedicalcenters.com and you can sign up online as well. Use code POPPABOSS10 for your discount. What's up everybody? And today's edition is if I eat McDonald's breakfast every day, will I become obese? That's a good question. I got what I normally would get. If I went to McDonald's for breakfast, I would get two sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins, two hash browns, and a nice coffee. Got the hash browns, the egg McMuffins, and a nice coffee. We'll start with the sandwich. Here's the iced coffee. They actually made it good today. Oh yeah, tons of sugar. Oh, that's a whole lot of sugar. A whole lot of sugar. I've done videos on sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin. Oh, look at that cheese, it's a runaway. This is real ugly. Calories, 466. Fat in grams, 29.78. Carbs, 29.24. Protein. Which is is pretty good. It's a right in my protein range on a, on a meal basis. Is 19.8 grams of protein. So 466 calories, 29 grams of fat, 29 grams of carbs, 19 grams of protein. Now all in all, that's not bad. Now you're going to eat two. You know you're going crazy. You're starving. You're going to eat two. That is over a thousand calories calories and 58 over 58 grams of carbs now the protein comes out good because you got almost 40 grams you're at like 38 point something grams of carbs i mean 38 point um, grams of uh protein for two so if, if that's all you're going to eat for the for you know until dinner you're probably good but if you're coming back to mcdonald's for lunch and then you're going home and eating a big dinner and then some snacks after dinner, you're pretty much screwed. But yeah, I'm, this thing is like probably the best fast food breakfast that you can get out of a fast food and chain restaurants. I'm not going to eat both of these today because I'm just not. So good. Now you have to remember on a daily basis, trying to manage your calories, manage your carbs. And manage your proteins. Now, in my last video, in my one video, where I show what I eat in a day to stay lean all year round, yeah, this is a freaking treat. If it's once in a while, it's okay. If it's every day, questionable. Because I'm right now I'm 6'1", 195, and I try to stay there. If I don't watch myself, I'll be at 220 at no time. Some of you might think, well, that's good. You're balking. I don't balk. I stay lean all year round. You don't understand that balking and cutting is hard on your digestive organs, especially your liver, your pancreas, and your gallbladder. All right, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna eat the other one. So that puts my calories at over a, a, a thousand for breakfast. So I'll go to the gym later today with my girlfriend because she has a day off from work. And then I'll probably only eat for lunch, one can of tuna fish, 29 grams of protein, and or maybe one yogurt that has 20 grams of protein, but I won't. Other than that, I'm not eating anything else till my regular dinner. This little beast is 466 calories of awesomeness. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Actually, I was wrong. It's not over a thousand. I just added it up. It's 932 calories for both of those. Which really, all in all, if, if you're managing your doing a good job of managing your calories throughout the day, it's really not. Uh, it's really not that bad. You know, if you're like I try to stay around. 2,000 calories a day, say between 1,800 and 2,000 calories a day. So I still have another 1,000 calories I can consume for the rest of the day. So it's not too bad if you're managing your calories. Now, if you're just going crazy, you don't give a shit about what you're eating, and you eat breakfast, go to work, two hours later you have a snack, then you go to lunch, 
you know, you go back to McDonald's or you go somewhere else or you go to Panera Bread or your office orders pizza, you know, or you stop at Chick-fil-A and consume another 1,000, 1,500 calories, you're already in trouble. You're in big trouble. So then we have the McDonald's hash brown. McDonald's hash brown is 140 calories, 8 grams of fat, 18 grams of carb, and 2 grams of protein. We all know and love the McDonald's hash brown. It is a thing of beauty. That was two uh, McDonald's sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins, two hash browns, and a medium iced coffee. The iced coffee per cup, and that's probably two cups, two and a half cups, so the McDonald's iced coffee is 50 calories per cup, 1.42 grams of, of fat, 9.14 grams of carbs, and 0.38 grams of protein. Sugar per cup is 8.51 grams. That's probably almost three cups in there, so that's probably 24, say 20, 24 grams of sugar in that. And we don't have much uh, sugar in the other two. Let's just say... We got about 30 grams of, 30 to 40 grams of sugar in that whole meal, which the daily requirement is about 37, or the recommended daily requirement is about 37 to 38. They're saying that you shouldn't have any more than that. Me, I don't, you shouldn't have any sugar at all. <laughs> to me, this is super, super, this is super, super freaking sweet right now. Our total calories for two sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins, we have 932 calories plus... 140 plus 140. So for the food itself, we have 1,212 calories. Now for me personally, that's a lot. Because normally I would eat three egg whites and one whole egg and one cup of rice. At about 300 to 350 calories uh, in the morning. So 1,212 calories in like, what, 10 minutes? I woofed that down like it stole from me. You know, so that's like crazy. Plus another, say, let's say another 120 calories for the drink. If I drink all of it. So then we're at 1,332 calories for the whole meal. That's crazy. And in two hours, a lot of people are going to get, going to eat, eat a snack. And then they're going to eat lunch. Then they're probably going to eat another snack. Then they're going to eat dinner. And they wonder why they're freaking obese. So yeah, if you're if you're consuming that many calories just for breakfast, and then you're having three or four other meals and snacks throughout the day, yeah, you're gonna get freaking obese. You're gonna you're gonna be a a beast in a matter of no time. And like I said before, I go into Walmart, and 90% of the people in there are obese. You know, and they say 44, over 44% of the country is obese. I think it's actually higher than that. You know, if you're counting adults and children, I think they're just counting adults in the, those numbers. I mean, there's a lot of obese kids, you know, running around. You know, they got obese parents. I mean, you see it. You go in Walmart, there's an obese mom, an obese dad, and little Jimmy's, he's as wide as he is tall. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying that in a joking way. I'm saying that because it's a problem in this country. 30 grams of carbs in the sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin, so we're at 60 grams of carbs. The hash brown has 18 grams of carbs. So we have 36 and 66 grams of carbs. We have 102 grams of carbs. That's what I usually eat for the whole freaking day, Monday through Friday. 102 grams of carbs. That's insane. That's insane. That's four hash browns and, and the two sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins. That's crazy. And people say, oh, well, you need carbs for energy. No, you don't. Especially if you're obese and you're trying to lose weight. You want to use your body fat as your freaking energy. And most of what you get, people don't understand. If you eat a, a, a good amount of protein and good fats, that fat is actually going to be your, your, your freaking energy. Carbohydrates, especially simple carbs, are a non-essential macronutrient. Let me say that again. A non-essential macronutrient. They're not needed. It's been proven. The only reason why carbs are so popular, other than the fact that they taste so damn good, is back in the 70s, the government, and, and before that, the government started pushing farmers to make or, or grow more grain-based crops 
so they could make more bread and pop tarts and cookies and cake and all that kind of stuff and get America fat and sick because a fat sick American makes a lot of money for big pharma and that's the God's honest truth because I've done a lot of research I've read books by doctors who did who, medical doctors who did the research dug deep and found the research and found all these studies that were done by the government the government knows that carbs and sugar are bad they just push it push it push it to keep everybody unhealthy that's their goal. But more and more people are finding out because of the internet that it is unhealthy and it's not necessary. I mean, uh, I, when I cut out carbs and sugar when I weighed 240, I lost 50 pounds, almost 60 pounds actually, in four and a half months. Like it was, like it was nothing. And it didn't take long. In like a week or two, you get over the cravings and then they don't come back. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's ridiculous how much emphasis people put on especially people on YouTube and, and TikTok that you need to have carbs. No, you don't. I don't care what anybody says. They're brutal on your pancreas, your liver. They, sh they push your insulin level up to the point where it, it's damaging to your liver over time. And you might say, well, you could get obese from eating anything every day. Well, that's true, but we're pointing out, pointing to things that people like the most and things that are common that people eat on a regular basis and on a daily basis you know they're not eating steak for breakfast they're not eating steak for lunch and they're not eating steak for dinner unless you're rich and money's no object because right now steak is freaking expensive we have when the sausage egg and cheese make muffin 19.8 grams of protein let's call it 20 so we have 40 grams of protein there protein for the hash brown is is two so we have 44 grams of protein. I'm not even going to count the drink because it's insignificant. It was like 0.2 grams of protein or something ridiculous like that. So we have 42 grams of protein. And that's probably the best part of the meal is the amount of protein that I got out of it. Because I, I try to keep 20, I try to keep my meals, each meal at 20 to 40 grams of protein per meal. Because here's the thing, regardless of what anybody tells you on the internet, these, especially the 20 year old fitness, uh, uh, non-influencers because they're not really influencing you they're just there to sell you stuff I try to keep um, 20 to 30 grams of protein uh, per meal and that's what you want to do as an adult um, anything above 30 the research I've done I found that anything above 30 is just a waste because I, I see people eating you know 50 60 70 80 90 100 grams of protein per meal on, on the internet and that's just stupid because most of it anything above 30 is just going to get wasted it's either going to be converted to glycogen which can be used for energy which is a good thing but beyond that most of it's going to be converted to fat so you're defeating if you're trying to stay lean or lose weight you're defeating the purpose that's why i'm making these videos because i'm trying to get it show people what i did how it worked and it's been almost two years and i've kept the weight off you know my weight fluctuates maybe a pound here and there on a daily basis but for the most part I stay lean all year round and people are always asking me you know how I did it uh, some people try to say oh you you got lean because you're on TRT no TRT is is hormone replacement therapy it's not a freaking steroid cycle regardless what people think or what they tell you my hormone levels before TRT were at like 340 nanograms per deciliter that's how they measure it and which is low they still consider it normal but it's low a normal human being you you want to be at 700 to to 900 so all basically all it did was restore my hormone level back to the level it was when i was in my 20s and when i started i felt better right away and i felt better i thought clearer my mind worked better everything was much better but i didn't lose i wasn't losing any weight for the after you know four months of being on it i i expected it to to be like a miracle but it, it's not <laughs> you still have to work super hard in the gym and you have to completely change your freaking diet you know because i see people in the gym all the time they've been there for years and they still look the same because and they're working their asses off but they're not changing the way they eat or what they eat or how much they eat and if you don't do that you might as well pee in a fan it's just going to come back in your face it's not going to work you have to, like I've said in other videos, the easiest thing to do, take your body weight, multiply it times 15. That gives you the calories you need to maintain your current body weight. Now, minus or subtract 500 to 800 calories from that total. 
and that'll give you your calorie deficits you need to be in. Then you need to cut out your carbs and cut out your sugars, and within a month's time, you're going to see a huge freaking difference, and you're going to be happy as hell that you fucking listen to me. That's all I got to say. In conclusion, and if you have questions, um, don't send it through Instagram. I always put my Papa Walsh email up there. Send it there, and I will respond to you. Anyway, in conclusion, yes, if you eat at McDonald's every freaking day, you're going to become obese. Because I know that's not the only thing you're going to eat. Because people get hungry, people get bored, and they shove food in their face. They get depressed, they eat. They're happy, they eat. No matter what, people eat. <laughs> and that doesn't include what you drink. Sodas, alcohol, milk, etc. I only drink water throughout the day. I drink one or two coffees when I wake up. Water the rest of the day. And, that, and that's pretty much it. I don't drink soda. I mean, I love soda. Don't get me wrong, but I don't drink it. Yes, you will become obese if you eat at McDonald's every freaking day what I just ate. Because most people just don't go and get one thing. They get the breakfast, the hash browns, the burgers, the fries, and all that crap that goes with it. And it's easy to do because it's convenient. But again, if you have questions or you need help, email me. My email's always up there. And I'll respond and do my best to answer your questions and help you out. Other than that, stay strong and I'll see you in the next video.